Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting things we got to talk about. First of all, let's talk about the results of the UK Pro. Surprisingly, Bruno Santos ended up winning. It is not Andrea Presti who took the last spot in the Mr. Olympia. It's actually this guy right here, the Brazilian Bruno Santos. Now, did I see it this way, the prejudging? No. If you guys watch my video of the prejudging, you know that I thought Andrea Presti was winning. And now I'm seeing a lot of comments, a lot of people saying that Andrea Presti was robbed. Do I think he was robbed? No, no. Even though I thought he was winning, I don't have an issue with Bruno Santos winning instead. I mean, I thought Andrea Presti was going to win because he was more conditioned. But, um, you know, he, his legs, his legs are definitely a problem, and Bruno Santos was definitely more complete, and he was kind of like in the middle of these uh, three guys, so uh, you have Louis Breed, who is an absolute monster, a freak, crazy conditioning, but not a bad structure, you have Andrea Presti with solid shape, but a lack of muscle in, in the lower body department, and then you have Bruno Santos in the middle, kind of like a mix of these two guys, so a lot of muscle, not the best conditioning, but very complete physique, nice shape. Overall, yeah, I can definitely see why he ended up winning this show. I don't think there was a robbery here. And you know, when I say not the best conditioning, I'm saying not the best conditioning out of these three guys. But overall, he was in decent condition. And you won't be able to see that in this live stream video. I try to avoid posting it, but let's see this angle as well. I mean, usually, I mean, these live streams are horrible. And so is this one. As you just saw in that video taken with a phone, the quality of the video is 10 times better. You can actually see what these guys looked like. And I'm sure it was better in person, but at least in that the video, you can, you can kind of get an idea here in, in this live stream. I mean, everybody looks like they're all, they're all out of shape. And they are definitely not. So, yeah, once again, overall, I think Bruno Santos deserved this victory. He was the best combination of size, conditioning, and shape, and structure. And he is going to the Mr. Olympia. I mean, this guy is basically new. I didn't really know much about him until now. But, yeah, he actually looks promising. Like, I think this physique is very good. I mean, I don't see any, any big weaknesses, any glaring flaws. He's very complete, has a lot of muscle, can get in decent condition. I don't know how old he is and like when he turned pro and so on, but you know, he seems like a guy with potential. Hopefully he is young. If he's actually young and has more room to make more progress, then I mean yeah, he can he can do very well in the future. But we'll see about that. As far as the Mr. Olympia this year, I don't see him placing. Like he's probably gonna be one of the last guys, but like in the future, if he has if he has youth on his side. Uh, maybe he's gonna do well. If you guys know a little bit more about this guy, tell us down below in the comment section. Now, we gotta talk about this guy once again as well. Patrick Moore, who brought pretty good conditioning, very good conditioning, I would say. Definitely better conditioning than uh, what we saw in the past five years since that 2019 Mr. Olympia. He finally pulled it together and he actually had an off-season with a coach. And I thought he was gonna be bigger and also in good condition, but... You know, it just wasn't enough. Was he bigger? I mean, maybe he made some progress in certain areas. Maybe quads, maybe like chest and arms. But like the thickness of the physique, especially when he turned back, when he showed us his backside, you know, it was, he looked slim. Definitely not thick enough, especially in the lower body, but like upper body as well. He has a good taper, but you know, it's not the thickest back ever. So in this lineup, he, he couldn't really do much, even though he thought he was probably gonna win or at least do well. You know, the poor guy even made a thank you video prior to the show. He says basically after the show, we thank everybody, but like I wanted to do before the show, he even showed us what date it is and what time it is. So <laughs> I guess he felt confident that he was gonna win. And you can hear it in his voice, you can see it in his face. He felt like he was, you know, happy what he was bringing. And, you know, it wasn't bad what he brought to the stage. It actually looked very good. But apparently he doesn't have exactly what the judges want. And here is again 4 to 6. And he, I, I don't know where he placed. We only have the results for the top 5. But based on this call out, he was 7th or 8th. And I don't even know how he placed that low. I mean, after I saw his posing routine, I thought he was going to be like at least in the first call out. Not 8th. But I mean, the only thing that I can come up with is basically he was too slim. 
He didn't have the thickness, especially from behind. I think that's the main thing, especially like his lower body from behind. His legs looked very, very slim. And I believe he had a, like a hamstring injury, I'm pretty sure, like a couple of years back and he was dealing with that injury. So I guess he wasn't able to train his legs to the max, even though his quads actually kind of seemed improved but you know from behind it still wasn't um, it wasn't good like the size of his legs overall from behind not only hamstrings hamstrings as well definitely don't have the thickness of an open pro but just the size the overall width of the legs i mean it was it wasn't where it needed to be in order for him to place uh, higher you know in the first call out or like to win the show he needs to do a lot more work to win the show now i know that he made a statement many many times before that he doesn't have the weight that he couldn't make the weight for classic physique i don't know how true that is because when i'm looking at his physique i don't think he is like much much bigger than let's say somebody like uh, ramon dino right i mean maybe i mean he is bigger i guess but he doesn't look that much bigger you know, he probably would have to sacrifice some muscle, you know, some fullness, but I believe he could make the weight, unless, like, he has super heavy bones or something, or he's lying about his weight. I don't see this physique being way below, above the classic physique weight gap. I know the likelihood of him doing it is, is extremely low, he said it many times, he won't do it, but should he do it? I mean, after placing 8th at, at one of the lowest, one of the weakest uh, pro shows of the year... Yeah, I think he needs to change something. The division or actually do a proper off-season and put on more muscle. I mean, he did an off-season recently, but how how focused was he really? How far was he willing to push things? You know, with food, with training. I'm not talking about gear. I'm talking about, like, is he really forcing the food? Is he really eating enough? I mean, I don't know what he was doing or what kind of metabolism he has or, like, is his body even able to put uh, that much muscle on? Was he doing all it takes or was he taking it easy? I don't know what is the case, but apparently right now he is not where he needs to be. Something must be changed. But he's been trying basically for the last five years and he just couldn't really do much. He is always the hype. People talk about him because of his very aesthetic physique, very classic, very very aesthetic looking lines, but he never delivers really. And uh, even this time around when he when we thought he was back and that he delivered conditioning, he still placed extremely low. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. All right, enough about the UK Pro. Let's talk about what we have in 4 weeks from now, and that's Mr. Olympia and one of the top contenders, my personal favorite to win this show. Samson Daura, who just posted a new physique update, and I'm looking at this and I'm, and I'm getting nervous. At this point, I'm getting nervous, because I want Samson to win, not because of like his personality, I don't know him personally at all, I never spoke to Samson ever, I just like his physique, I want this physique to be the best physique in the world, because I believe it can be, I believe it's like the best body in the world right now, in bodybuilding terms of course, but it's, it was never refined to the point where it can win, a bodybuilding show and i hope it's gonna happen this year i hope he's going to be more conditioned than before but i'm looking at this and like the time is running out there are only four weeks left and does he keep improving the conditioning i mean that lower back actually looks uh, very crispy it looks very very dry it looks very hard so like lower back upper body he looks very conditioned hamstrings are also looking decent but the main thing is the glutes. Now, I'm not saying he needs to have glutes as shredded as Derek Lunsford. No, no. He just needs to improve them. He needs to bring better glute conditioning. Is that going to happen? Well, at this point, at four weeks out, I think the difference between now and from like two weeks ago when we saw his uh, back update the last time, I think the difference is definitely very noticeable. This was at six weeks out. And I think he definitely got more conditioned than this uh, in the last two weeks. I actually think he improved that conditioning significantly in the last two weeks. But still, are these glutes where they need to be? At four weeks out? No. But there is four more weeks left. If he continues chipping away at the same pace he was so far, he's definitely going to be more conditioned than ever. But is that going to continue? That's the big question. Will he keep improving or not? That's why I'm getting nervous. I don't know. Like every week I want to see more improvements. I want to see changes. 
And right now I'm seeing them, but like who who is guaranteeing that next time we see him, he's going to be better? Maybe he's gonna stay exactly like this and show up on stage like this. If that happens, he probably won't win. He won't win if he shows up exactly like this. He still needs to keep pushing. He needs to get more conditioned than this. Is he gonna do that? Is he gonna be able to get even more shredded and actually stay big and full and round and have everything a complete package with good conditioning? Who knows? I don't know. I'm hoping it's gonna happen. I believe it can happen, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I mean, so far, I believe, I still believe. So at this point, he is still my favorite. But at two weeks south mark, I'll make an official prediction video, and if, if I don't think his conditioning is good enough for two weeks out, I might change my prediction. I might put him in second or third, but as of right now, he is still my number one. Whatever you guys think based on this, tell me down below in the comment section, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.